everyone. My name is Will Strafacci. I'm responsible for regional IT in Pennsylvania and New Jersey for our short partners Northeast. I just want to go over the Mimecast portal and uh, how to maneuver through it. Um, everyone should have received the Mimecast document user guide when the email migration was done or the day after. Mimecast is basically your new secure email management and URL protection software. So if you realized when the, your migration occurred and the first email you received that you clicked on a link in an email, um, it would have brought you to a page to register or uh, enroll your device that you're using uh, for protection. Um, you only have to do that one time. So you would enter your uh, email address. It would bring you to a screen to um, then uh, it's going to send you an email verification with a number to confirm that, that you are the right person. Then you enter that number and that brings you to a, another screen to enter your password, which is the same password you use to uh, access your email. And if you have any issues with your email password, please just let myself know or your local IT representatives know and we'll take care of it. So in the document, let me open it up here, that was sent out, basically explains what to expect with Mindcast. Um, twice a day, you will see the daily digest that shows everything that was, I guess, reported as spam that didn't get delivered to your mailbox. And you have to either, uh, you know, um, allow it, uh, release it, block it, or permit it. And here's the what you'll see in the daily digest. So this stuff will not be delivered to your inbox until you access the portal or click on any of these three options. If you just release it, it says it here, and it gives you an explanation of what each option is. If you just release it, it's just gonna release it for that time, and it's not gonna be adding that user who sent it as an approved sender all the time, so it's gonna keep going into the spam filter unless you permit it basically permanently. And obviously, block, you know, a block means you'll block that person permanently. Um, now, in this document is a link to where the portal is. And I already have it up on my screen on another. There we go. So, to log in, you enter your email address. The next screen that pops up, it asks for a domain. It gives you two options. You need to ignore this. It's okay. Just leave it at domain. It doesn't need to be touched. And then go to password and then your email password. Enter, and it should bring you to a portal. And this portal is basically a snapshot of your current inbox. So you can see this is my regular mail inbox. It basically just pulls anything to, from when your account started in Mimecast. And you could also use this as a like Microsoft Outlook if you wanted to. I don't know why you would want to, but you could. So it's just showing your inbox. Now, where we want to go is this advanced section. So if, if I click on this advanced section, it basically shows me my messages that are on hold personal on hold, moderated on hold, what was blocked, I guess after you've accessed this multiple times, you'll start seeing blocked people in here. And this is where you, if you block someone by accident, you can go in and unblock them. Permitted, auto permitted. So I'm gonna go on my personal on hold section. And this is basically where everything in that daily digest that comes every day is in here. And you could click on something in here, uh, just and I could approve it or reject it. See the thumbs up or thumbs down? You could select multiple if you wanted to. Moderated on hold, 
I don't believe I have anything moderated on hold. You could go to bounced messages. If anything got bounced for any reason, it would explain it. I mean, it has some kind of email language in here that you might not be re recognize. Rejected messages, stuff that never ma made the uh, the box. Blocked, and go to blocked here. Highlight one. And hit permit or remove, as you can see on the far right hand side. If you have any other questions about this, please let me know or your local IT team, and we'll be happy to help. Thank you.